What up, what up? I'm up now. It's 1.55 p.m. May 19th, 2021. Now, uh, before I go into actually reading the book, um, My Personal Hell, Target Individual, mm, Fiction or Reality, You Decide. Before I go into that, <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit about the day. <clears throat> well, I find out that I've got a job in Enterprise. So, of course, I call uh, Best Western, uh, the guy at the front desk that works with me that lives in Alpha Alabama. So I ain't got to ride my bicycle back. And um, he said, sure, you know, take me. I told him I had to work tonight, you know, get my last day in. And uh, he said, uh, Friday, he could take me Friday morning around 7.30. I was like, cool, I'm doing my laundry, I'm getting it done. Talking to Miss Lynn, which is my mama's best friend, Lynn Griffith, and um, letting her know what's going on. <clears throat> In the middle of all this, I kept catching these weird, hateful stares from the hotel owner's wife and a couple of the people that would come out of the room. It's like, we are just. Odd, like they were looking at me like it was just some piece of crap. Well, I haven't paid too much attention. Kept writing my book, got my clothes finished, got off home with Miss Lynn, came back to the room. I decided to go back to sleep because I was exhausted. I texted my boss, um, Stephanie at Best Western, and I let her know the deal, you know, that I'm going back to Enterprise, got a better job opportunity, be near my kids, my family. And I would quit her. I would be resigning Friday. She texts me back. Oh, first I go to sleep. And I'm waking up to this loud bam, 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 kicking and screaming on the wall and at the door. I get up. And I call Miss Lynn. I was like, it's starting back. And they're just making obnoxious noises, waking me up out of my sleep. She started hearing it. <clears throat> and, uh, of course, it can't just be people just acting stupid. The thing was, the girl next door, I'm thinking it was her and her boyfriend got to the I heard him yelling. Somebody kept knocking on the door and asked her to stay on the phone with Slim. I finally opened the door and walk out there. And the hotel owner, wife, walks up. She said, don't you let them in your room. Don't you let them in your room. I don't know why she stood out and let nobody in my room to keep it myself. I go back in the room, I'm gonna check my text messages, and my boss, uh, Stephanie, texted me from Best Western. Well, we don't need you no more. It was slow last night, so we just don't need you no more. A little bit more than that, I got on the text messages, and I'll read it later to you. So I thought the rest says, so you're saying you're firing me? No, you resigned. No, I said Friday. So they forced me not to go into work today. I wanted to go. That's why I was resting, but that's all right. Like I said, I'm going back to Enterprise and I'm excited about my new job. That's why I've been in the hotel room all the time. Well, I go back to the door, open it, and the girl was over there arguing and banging on the walls and all that stuff. Comes walking from around the corner, tries to put her stuff in my room. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. She just makes walks off. The hotel owner was coming by with a broom, banging on the walls over here and on the outside. So I turn my camera on, put it in the window, and it all stops. I'm so complete stop. I let the camera roll for like I think an hour or something. All of it stopped. Mm. That's pretty much how the days went. I'm not getting back up eating. I'm gonna go for a walk, enjoy the day. I'm not gonna let it affect me. I'm loving my life. I'm thankful for my new job. I love my kids. I'm just very aware of this gang stalking activity that goes on. And it should be exposed. I don't care if it causes me crazy. I know I'm not. Yahweh knows I'm not. Miss Lynn knows I'm not. And of course, those who are doing it know I'm not. They're going to keep doing what they're doing, and I'm going to pray for them. I forgive them anyway.